stopped long enough for me to take a hike up to that scout with me. Yep. So I'm gonna hike up to the mailbox because I need to get out of the house. And it's like 72 degrees. And there's still clouds in the sky. It's supposed to storm again tonight. But I need a break. I need a break. I need to walk. I need to enjoy some fresh air. And try not to think about the news. Even though you know, it's sort of hard to do that. Not think about the news. The first case of COVID-19 has hit our county here in Georgia. And yeah. It was in the surrounding counties. It was in the county where my mom lives, or most of my family lives. It was in the county where my husband's family lives. But it hadn't hit our county yet. And the update today said it had. And now I don't want to go anywhere at all. I don't want to go shopping for groceries, whether it be a necessity or not. We're going to be using what we've got right now. And I might stock up with Walmart grocery pickup on Friday. But other than that, I'm not going to my grocery store. I'm not even going to go through a drive through right now. Um, our community is very small, so it will get out pretty quickly. Who has it? So that we pretty much all will know if we've come in contact with the person or not. Um, just because somebody who knows them will say something and it'll be all around town. The joys of living in a small town. So we'll at least know if we've come in contact with them or anything like that. Not that that's much peace of mind right now. But I'm trying to stay positive and not let my kids see that I'm worried. Try not to worry. Just being honest here. So, yeah. Now, I have to go out my gate to go get my mail. I'm trying to think about what I used to tell my kids when they were little. It was a, it was a scripture verse that we always said because they would get night terrors or have a bad dream. And we always quote, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. You know, right now, that's become my mantra. And I don't know, you know, there's 365 days in a year. There's 365 times the Bible says, fear not. And that's what I'm holding on to. I hope we all can hold on to that truth. That we don't have to fear God is in control.